Australian light heavyweight and heavyweight champion. Mundine at 12 stone 4 gave away 9 pounds in weight, but that did not worry him. Johnson is a good fighter, but Mundine is a better one. He's a better boxer with sharper reflexes, and his power punchy caused Johnson to clinch many times. On one occasion, Johnson pulled down Mundine's head and Tony pushed him away so forcibly that Bunny landed on his back. Johnson's renowned left hook did not make Mundine blink. In fact, two or three times after taking a left hook, Mundine poked out his tongue at the British champion. Johnson was shaken and staggered a few times, but experience got him out of trouble. The fight nearly did not take place. Promoter Peter Foster appointed me as matchmaker of the prelims and referee of the big one, and the contract listed me as referee, but Len Swetnam, secretary of the Australian Boxing Federation, told the promoter Mitchell must not referee as he is not licensed with the ABF as a referee. A big laugh. I held the World Boxing Council referee's licence, the first Australian to be so appointed by the WBC, have refereed more than 5,000 fights, including nine Commonwealth title fights, was president of the ABF for more than nine years, and refereed many ABF fights. Charky Raymond was approved as referee of the Mundine Johnson bout, and he is not a member of the ABF. And Len Swetnam himself and Max Peskett were judges for the Mundine Johnson bout, yet neither holds a judge's licence with the ABF or with any other body. And this is according to Swetnam's own admission to me. Swetnam is consistent, isn't he? Furthermore, the two judges sat on the same side of the ring only two feet apart, yet ABF rules and the rules of every body in the world which uses two judges state that the two judges must sit on opposite sides of the ring. At the end of the ninth round, my scorecard showed Mundine ahead by eight points, 89 to 81. Swetnam showed Mundine ahead by only two points, 87 to 85, while Peskett had Mundine ahead by only one point, 85, 7 to 86. After the fight, Alan Moore, resident main event referee at Brisbane Festival Hall, was incredulous. He said to Swetnam and Peskett, what fight were you two watching? Certainly not Mundine and Johnson. Moore's unofficial card reads 89 to 80, a margin of nine points. And Chucky Raymond's unofficial card read 89 81, same as mine. Mundine cutting loose here. Franco Callaghan of the Courier Mail wrote of the knockout, quote, Mundine did not have to be so definite. He had built up a useful points lead and having carried a cut eye for three rounds, needed only to coast home, unquote. And as the last round began, Charlie Gergen, Mundine's chief second instructed Mundine, box along, take no chances, you're well in front. Well, he was doing just that. But then Johnson landed a pretty solid left hook and Mundine decided that he would finish the action. Now keep your eye on this action, there's a very good good uh, round for Mundine. Started off casually, Johnson in front. He said, that didn't hurt. <laughs> That's what he said. The knockout came in 19 seconds before the scheduled end of the fight. There were two knockdowns. The left hook from, was the first one by Mundine. Watch it, it's a beauty. Johnson claimed every time he was shaken which, of course, is good tactics. That one shook him, and that one didn't do him any good either. Festival Hall in September. That have become part and parcel of such occasions, especially those featuring.